Hey everybody. I film a nice satsang this morning from out here in the Grand Canyon. And we'll just see if anything comes up. So let's uh, start with some silence. So if you pay really close attention, it's seen that life is self-sustaining, meaning that it's happening on its own. Just like your breath or your heartbeat or the blood coursing through your veins doesn't require you to do anything it's just happening on its own and so actually everything's happening like that and also you're happening like that and that recognition is actually a fierce grace because the suffering comes when energetically the human attempts to play this navigational role. And very rarely does life ever turn out the way that your thoughts want it to. And that's actually the freedom in all this. It's the train that comes from Williams. And it drops people right off right at the Bright Angel Trailhead. So that energy is always trying to control so that it can maintain what it assigns meaning to. So, for example, people will come to a place like this, like the Grand Canyon, and they will um, take so many pictures and videos and hike the trails. And in that moment, they're trying to grasp something and take something with them that can't be touched by them. It can only be experienced. 
and that beauty and that vastness and that freedom of the Grand Canyon is what you are, you know? Like, how can you take something with you that you already have? You can't. So the suffering comes from living in that lie that life can be had packaged up in a perfect little parcel and taken with you and protected at all costs so that nothing and no one can ever touch it or destroy it. I mean, it sounds crazy, but that's... That is how most humans function. And then we try and deny that we function like that by spending hours in meditation or yoga or... Um, some other way that we try and come back to who we are, the silence that we are. We go on, you know, 30 mile runs and work 60 hour work weeks and fill up our life with so much um, activity in order tr to try and escape that which we really want, which is the silence. Because in trying to maintain it or find it and seek it, we're actually running away from it. So when something happens in life that shakes up your idea of security and peace and love and freedom, you know, that false sense of it, um meaning that we've established some formation or structure like a job or a home or a relationship or a practice to help us maintain our love or our freedom or whatever idea we have of, um, you know, that place called home. When something comes in and threatens that and shakes that up and breaks it apart, um, that is such a perfect opportunity to... Um, to move into your true home, into that dwelling place of silence, because under that, that structure, under that chaos of that structure, under that illusion, is a place of inevitable rest, a place um, that can be not that cannot be touched by the world of form. No matter what happens to you, no matter who leaves you, no matter how much money you lose, no matter how badly your health deteriorates, no matter how badly people trust you, or um, how badly people... Um, cheat you and make you not able to trust them no matter all the terrible things that can happen to you this place underneath all that that is watching experiencing listening that is always there for you to come home to to find rest in It's actually the substrate of all experience underneath everything. It's like that, um, that river down there, the Colorado River with all the big boulders and the fish and the twigs and branches flowing in it. What you are is that water, that substrate, that infinite movement, that one flow that carries all those um, bits and pieces of the earth in it. Except you have no beginning and you have no ending. And you'll never dry up. You're infinite. Deathless. 
unknowable freedom so when things are starting to break apart that's a good thing be grateful for that because that is the death of the illusion of you that's what's dying away but you are not touched by that apparent movement in time you're not affected by that ebb and flow of the coming and the going It's a lost process. Let's check out the view. See Isis Temple and the Bright Angel Trail down there. No hiking for me today because I have a knee thing, but uh, it's still really pretty. Anyways, thank you for watching and have a beautiful um, rest of your day.